Welcome back to my blonde hair series where we talk about my going blonde journey, how to minimize damage, how to maintain blonde hair, all the things. If you're blonde, listen up. In my last video, we talked about all salon prep. Before you go to the salon, let's talk about how to decide what kind of blonde you want to be. So I've been everything from platinum to like purple hair to that silver color, grayish looking thing. I've done every kind of blonde. So I'm trying to decide what blonde I want to be this time. I love platinum. I, if you can pull off platinum, just do it. That's my advice. Not a lot of people can pull off platinum. It's really hard to do. So if you can do platinum, just, just go and go platinum. If I decided I'm in my like mom era, I want to be like in this like, I don't know. I have this like vision board, right? So what I do is I go on Pinterest and I like pin, 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 pin everything that I like. I type in blonde hair. I type in mom aesthetic. I type in everything and I just pin everything to my board. Then I go through my board and I see the similarities and I'm like, yes, this, I have like 30 of these pens and two of these pens. These two pens get deleted or put off to the side and I go through and I figure out what I'm really feeling, like what kind of vibe I want to go with. This is very much like mood board, vision board, like for your home, for your life, same process. So I decided this time I want to go balayage because it is like a little bit more subtle. It's still pretty easy maintenance. Um, it's not quite as high maintenance as like a platinum, which I still will probably do one day. And then when I get to the salon, I'll show my hairdresser my entire mood board. Like I won't just show her one photo because if I show her just the one photo, she might be seeing something in that that I'm not seeing that I like. I, I just won't, she, I, I need to show her like the whole mood board so that way it can say like, hey, this is what I'm going for and then she can mix the colors and do the process to get the mood board that I want, not just try to match one photo.